Welcome to the Book of Tarot. I'm Reverend Stephanie Neal, and today the Aces will be presented through the five tarot authors. So let's begin. And as always, we're starting off with general information. How the tarot works. Cartomancy is the practice of utilizing any cards for telling the future, not just the tarot. On the surface, it seems the tarot is just a deck of cards created to play the Italian card game called Tarot Chi. I'm sure I slaughtered that. But how can these cards be used to find answers to questions? Well, think of the tarot as a tool that helps you communicate with your subconscious. Then, as you interpret the scene on the card, you are freeing your mind to flow easily as you just say what you think you see. Remember, different people see different things in the scenes. You are taking an open-ended scene and then telling a story for the question seeker or you. The tarot is not static. It is always expanding and changing as it should. The tarot is utilized by most for divination purposes so individuals may prepare, avoid, or change the situation they now find themselves. Others may wish to enter into the tarot as a lifelong path, studying the symbol meanings, learning how to become a problem solver, and learning how to live life to its fullest. The tarot is a path to deity awareness, reality, and spirituality. Or you may just enjoy learning how to get through each day successfully, whatever success means to you. The tarot depicts what humans walk through as they reach spiritual ascension, focusing on the source of all, which encompasses all. If we focus on source, we know we are part of the all and that through our highest self, we can develop our psychic awareness, our universality versus individuality. To say it another way, if you believe you work through deity and are part of deity, then you can see through your psychic eyes by looking at a symbol and allowing deity to speak through your interpretation of that symbol. Allow yourself to rest in stillness as you see through deity's eyes. Believe in yourself and believe that you are part of source. Thus, all wisdom opens to you and flows through you like a hollow bone. Interpretations, the aces, general observations. All right, so general observations here. You can notice that all have a hand holding the suit's element in the scene. They all have mountains. They all have leaves. They all have clouds, which are water. All hands are glowing. All have different terrains be below the hand. So consider this. Is it possible all these hands are the same hand? And is it possible that this hand is your hand 
And if this is your hand, what are you offering to the world? Interpretations. We begin, as always, with A.E. Waite. And we begin with Ace of Wands. A hand issuing from a cloud grasps a stout wand, meaning creation, invention, enterprise, the powers which result in these principle, beginning, source, birth, family, origin, and in a sense, the virility which is behind them, the starting point of enterprises, according to another account, money, fortune, inheritance, reversed, fall, decadence, ruin, to perish also a certain cloudy, a certain clouded joy. Next, Frank Albano says, creation, beginning, invention, start of an undertaking, fortune, enterprise, gain, inheritance, birth of a child, beginning of a meaningful experience, and adventure, escapade. We turn to Mary Packard now. Strong, creative force, auspicious beginnings, optimum sexual energy, drive and ambition, good luck and wealth, reversed, lethargy, thwarted, act, uh, thwarted creativity, truncated plans, S.L. McGregor Mathers, birth, commencement, beginning, origin, source, reversed, persecution, pursues violence, vexation, cruelty, tyranny. Stephanie Neal, re-examining your core beliefs, practical ideas, pure awareness of the physical realm, recognizing and trusting intuition, trusting yourself, trustworthiness, authenticity, community, raw high energy, birthing a new project is very promising, beginnings, business, starting a family, invention, ignite, confidence, and great opportunity. Next, the Ace of Cups. Wait. The waters are beneath, and thereon are water lilies. The hand issues from the cloud, holding in its palm the cup, from which four streams are pouring a dove bearing in its bill a cross marked host descends to place in the water in the cup. The dew of water is falling on all sides. It is an intimation of that which may lie be behind the lesser arcana meanings. House of the true heart, joy, content, abode, nourishment, abundance, fertility, holy table, facility hereof, reversed, house of the false heart, mutation, instability, revolution, Albano, great abundance, fulfillment, perfection, joy, fertility, opulence, product productiveness, 
beauty and pleasure, goodness overflowing, favorable outlook, Packard. The structured design suggests a medieval cathedral with spires pointing heavenward. It has been suggested that this cup represents the divine love from which earthly love gathers its strength. Upright, auspicious forces, headiness of a new romantic relationship, completion, rapture, reversed, one-sided love, sterility, heartbreak, matters, feasting, banquet, good cheer, cheer, reversed, change, novelty, metamorphosis, inconsistency, kneel, consciousness, intuition, spiritual, personal relationship, emotion in its purest form, regeneration, express through the senses, overflowing abundance, peace and emotion, communication with openness, following your heart, love, joy, like all the aces, illumination, subconscious. Next, the ace of swords. Wait, a hand issues from a cloud, grasping a sword, the point of which is encircled by a crown, meaning triumph, the excessive degree in everything, conquest, triumph of force. It is a card of great force in love as well in hatred. The crown may carry a much higher significance than comes usually within the sphere of fortune-telling. Reversed. The same, but the results are disastrous. Another account says, conception, childbirth, augmentation, multiplicity. Albano, great determination, intuitive, strength, force, activity, excessiveness, triumph, power, success, fertility, prosperity, deep emotional feelings, love, championship, conquest, Packard, the single sword is thrust through a crown, a head adornment that emphasizes the suit's link with the intellect. From the left of the card, a hand pierces an undulating shape edged with sharp points. The bay laurel on the right, the ancient symbol for victory, makes this a highly auspicious card upright, success, power, intuition, rational plans, mental activity, reversed, negativity, self-delusions, misguided reasoning, mathers, triumph, fertility, prosperity, reversed, embarrassment, foolish, and hopeless love obstacle, hindrance, kneel, mental clarity, visionary, strength, originality, creative thinker, innovative thinker, dreams actualized, taking a stand, thought becomes crystal clear, this is your time, receptive mind, Philosophy. This is time for triumph and new beginnings. 
The sword represents the mind, which is the key to the universe and peace of mind. Mental sharpness. Ace of Pentacles. Wait. A hand issuing, as usual, from a cloud, holding up a pentacle, meanings, perfect contentment, felicity, ecstasy, also speedy intelligence, gold, reversed, the evil side of wealth, bad intelligence, also great riches. In any case, it shows prosperity, comfortable material conditions, but whether these are of advantage to the possessor will depend on whether the card is reversed or not. Albano, perfection, attainment, prosperity, felicity, bliss, gold, valuable coins or artifacts, treasures, the combination of material and spiritual riches. Packard. From either end of the single large coin is the card's focal point, spring, flowering vines, a metaphor for a fertile new path that is rife with possibility, upright, auspicious for new ventures and pursuing new opportunities, material abundance, reversed, greed, lack of pleasure from wealth. Matters, perfect contentment, felicity, prosperity, triumph, reversed, purse of gold, money, gain, help, profit, riches, Neil, the beginning of manifestation, internal and external physical awareness, richness found through many avenues, organization, material possessions, come easy, trust your natural instincts, health is on the way, perfect contentment, triumph over hardship, internal success, money matters, materialism, stability. Now, we're going to the approach. And our next approach is reading for creativity. So when you select a spread, shuffle and lay your spread on a flat surface, Focus on anything in the cards, scenes, that indeed create, allowing these symbols to speak to you. If you are an artist, writer, project manager, teacher, seamstress, crafter, designer of any kind, and really all of us are designers of many kinds, this focus will serve you well. Think outside the box. Be confident in using your imagination. So I posted a link so that you can see how this particular creator looked at every card from a new perspective by seeing what the main character was seeing or what the main character was nearby or of what they were reacting. So I think you'll enjoy it. So thank you, and until next time, blessed be.